don't know about science, you're learning it for sure. Smart science, it's a place to find a power. If you don't know about science, you're learning it for sure. Find out more, you're learning it for sure. Smart scientists! Hello and welcome to Smart Scientists. On today's show, coming all the way back from 1928, and he discovered something which can heal anything from a tiny small cut to a rotten leg. It's Alexander Fleming. Woo! Woo! Hello, Abigail. So, Alex. Uh, sir, Alex, actually. I was knighted for my genius discovery. Sorry, sir, Alex. So, tell us about yourself. Well, I was born in Lockfield, which is in Ayrshire. Scotland. And how long ago was that? Well, let me see. Well, it was way back in 1881, which is ooh, 130 years ago. Well, you don't look that old. Oh, well, thank you, Abigail. So, what was your genius discovery? Well, it happened while I was on holiday, actually. You mean to say your discovery was by accident? Well, kind of. I left um, one of my dishes to wash up, my Petri dishes, to wash up by the sink, So, and I'd forgotten to wash up and clear up all the bacteria. But while I was away, some moles started to grow on the dish. I have an example here. When I came back, I almost got rid of the mould, but then I noticed something strange, something unusual. Go on. I noticed that there was bacteria everywhere, everywhere else apart from where the mould was. I thought there must be something in the mould which was stopping the bacteria from growing. You know, stop sort of killing the bacteria. Oh. So I took the thing out of the mould and I made it as a medicine and I called it penicillin. And penicillin is now something the world can't live without it because it heals so many things you sir alexander fleming made something extraordinary and well i and many other people like to say thank you well i'm glad that mole actually grew because otherwise what else would we would use instead i have no idea but you have been a great guest on the show so that's alexander's famous discovery do you think? Tell us about it on our chat page. Well, that's it for the week, but we'll, we'll, but we'll be back with more smart scientists.